Well, welcome back to the channel, guys, and uh, to this uh, first part of uh, the um, Bolton Paul Defiant build series. So uh, uh, let's get cracking. Let's open up the box. I've already done an unboxing uh, video on this, so you want to might, might want to go and check that out. Um, out come the bag of clear parts. We don't want those. And the sprues have all been primed, they're all ready to be painted. And you've got the set of instructions here as well. Let's open it up. And as you can see, forget the handwriting. But we are going to be concentrating on steps one to nine of this um, of this build today, which is basically the cockpit area. Okay, so let's get cracking. Got the decals in there somewhere, which I need to get out of the way. There we go. Get them out. Uh, so we need to go to um, get sprue C and get some um, parts C26 and C7 off. Okay, so let's look out for sprue C. Now we've got sprue C, there we go, we found it straight away. Uh, just going to get me a uh, sprue cutters. <sighs> And let's just have a look at the so we want C seven and C twenty six. So we've got C twenty six here, which is the sit pilot's seat. There we go, and the other one was C7. Which I think is this part here. That's going to come off anyway. All right. There we go. Just to make sure that I've got to do a test fit. That looks as if it goes on there like so. Just going to refer to the instructions a minute. Yeah. And that goes on there like so. So, just take that off a minute. I'll go and get some glue. Okay. And there's the first 
step of this build series done. Now that, that goes easily together. All right. Now we move on to step two. Let's get the instructions out of the way again. Uh, we want C21 this time. So at least we now know what C21, right. There we go. It's one of the more vulnerable, uh, vulnerable, more uh, um, delicate parts, shall we say. No, it's just coming off on the on these spook cusses. There we go. No, it's, no, let's get the instructions again. And it seems as if it goes underneath where the pilot seat is. Don't really want to go putting this on in the wrong Don't really want to go putting this on in the wrong Don't really want to make sure that I don't really want to make sure uh, make sure they're putting this on is wrong in the wrong the wrong way round. Looks as if it goes. I do it like that. It looks as if it goes. Come back to me for a minute, guys. Well, I've had a fairly good idea of as to where that piece goes, so that's now firmly in place. Now we can move on to step three. Get the instructions out again, and because now we want part C twenty, and. That's because we want part C twenty now, so we we'll get that uh, get that at the ready. Uh, 
and it's the the one that goes opposite so um, The one that goes on the opposite side of the pilot's uh, seat. And I'm just having a look at the instructions as to where that goes. And it's more or less the same. It's more or less the same. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get that all glued in. Just use the Tamiya on this one again. Get that in the end anyway, but we'll just go and put that. And there we go. So now we're on to now now that we've done steps to the first three steps, we can now move on to step four. And that is what's this? Move that out of the way for a minute. We can move on to step four now, which is which is the cockpit floor. So we want parts D eighteen, D nineteen, A three. So I can see. So anyway, so what we need is. These two parts here, which I hope you can see. So they've got to come off.
these these two plastic bits are going to come off as well soon but So just get those tiny little bits out of the way. Okay, now we want sprue A, which is this piece here. Okay, we've got the now oh, they've got the piece off here. Right. Now I should imagine that piece goes that goes in there. Still part of the cockpit floor. Right. There we go, we've got the got that all on. That's now firmly secure in place. So I'll be back in a bit guys. Well I've managed to uh, finally uh, well temporarily managed to get the um the the pilot seat all glued uh, well not glued in but temporarily fixed in so let's get that glued in now. goes in there look so and down down the back there as well just underneath as well okay so that's all glued into place now we're now on to step six and which is getting this little this piece here up as out as out of the sprue so we want c twenty three and c twenty two 
and that is actually one of the parts that has to be get painted first so I'll just move that over there I can see the piece that I want. Just get that out of the way for a minute and So I've got that out of the way. And And I have a funny feeling that goes on like so. There we go. So there we go. That's that all glued in. Well, not glued in, but it's uh, temporarily uh, fixed together. So we'll get that all glued in. That's all glued in together. Now this has got to be painted on before it can be uh, uh, before it can be glued in. So I'm going to go and dig, dig out my hum, my humble number fifty six, which is the uh, gunmetal grey. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so let's go and get my tweezers. And start painting this little. Blast it. Paint a bit stick, uh, brush is a bit dry. I'll just get a There we go, that's it. That's... So it's got the, uh, the silver on it. There we go, that's all done. Let's leave that in there and I think that's go for a bit. Oh, I've got a bit of paint on this, so. Yeah, let's just leave that 
just leave it. Uh, where can I leave it? That's a good question. So I'll just leave it on there because at least I'll know where it is. All right. So we'll leave that go for a bit, and we can at least start to think about putting part C6 on. We're on to step number seven. Um, because okay, um, so let's go and get part number C7 up, which I can think I can see where it is. which I've got here Now that looks as if it goes. In that. You see that? That looks as if it goes in there, so. I'll, I'll use a bit of the contactor. There we go, that's all in. Okay, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Right, well, I've already uh, done step eight, uh, which is just putting in this piece here, which I hope you can see. Uh, and that is ready for the, um, uh, for the foot pedals to go in. So we're all set now for step nine <clears throat> which is in putting in the control column and the uh the foot pedals as well um okay so let's get that sorted that d28 is what we're after so that is sprue c well we know that this is sprue a So here we go, I think this is D. Now we go, I can see the, I can see the pedals, let's get out of the way for a minute. Here we go.
There we go. And that's the piece that we're after. That's the piece that we're after. Now then. Says he's dropping it. So now it's just about the question, good question of actually getting it into into position. So let's just have a. I'll just refer to the instructions for, for a minute for the moment. I don't think I've got the wrong piece, but let's have a look. These do you know what? I've actually cut off the wrong piece. D28 is what I'm after. It's this one. I've actually put the cut off the wrong piece. That I think is my, uh, might be for the turret. So my mistake. So there we go. Now let's have a look and see what. Now let's have a look and see where. So don't want to lose that. Let's see how it goes. Looks as if yeah, okay, I think it goes in. I think it goes in. Let me just go and get my tweezers out a minute. I think it goes in like so. Okay, let's go and get some glue in there. Oh, hang on, put a bit too much in there. Never mind. There we go, all right. And that's in. Right, now I think we are ready to do some painting. 
let's get this all main part finished. Uh, let's get this, let's get part one finished. So I'll be back in a bit, guys. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'm going to have a go using my airbrush now, which is this one. It's an, it's one of those cordless airbrushes. So I just want to make sure that it works first. So I'm going to put in this uh, Vallejo interior green into my mixing cup. So let's so just put 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 some in there. I'm not sure whether this works with thinners, so I'm going to use that. And don't want to thin it too much. Uh, where's the top? There we go. So I'm just going to mix it in. Just going to, and I'll just decant that into decant that into there. Oh, that seems to work all right. Well. Okay, well, that seems to work okay. Right, now. Just got to put, put some blue tech on there. Get a cocktail stick. Just gonna get my glove a minute because I don't want to. Uh, I bought these this morning from uh, my local Saint Sainsbury's. I don't want to get paint all over my hands, so. Having said that. <clears throat> Having said that, my hand is too big. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it. So I hope this works. That is actually not working out too bad. Notice that I'm not actually going to do underneath the cockpit because that's hardly ever going to get seen. So.
go. I think we're okay. All right, I'll just uh. Leave that to dry for a bit. Well, guys, I'm actually quite pleased with that because this is now a touch dry. Not bad for a first attempt at airbrushing. Okay, so I'll get that off the cocktail sticker for, for a moment and get the blue stick off. And then we can put that to one side because now we're going to paint the. Um, control column which is where that the piece is where um, underneath where my finger is so I'm just going to paint that on the screw okay there we go and So I'm just going to paint the top part of it. I'm not going to... There we go, that's that out of the way. And then we've just got to do put it, put that in the, into the silver. There we go, and I'll just leave that to dry for a moment. I'll be back in a bit. Well, while the uh, control column is actually waiting to dry, uh, we're going to get this bit on. And that goes. goes into there goes into that like so that actually fit it's actually no it should so it should go so it should go in like so there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Hopefully this will So there we go, that's That's glued in nice, that's all glued in good and proper. Now, as far as the uh, control column goes, it looks as if it goes into a little hole just where the 
just where the uh, uh, pilot seat is. Um, I think I'm just referring to the instructions. And it looks as that's where it looks as if it goes. Might be wrong. Let's give it a go. Because that should now be dry. Okay, let's give it a go. And... Oh, it's me tweezers. All right. So let's do it like that. Mm -hmm. And the bloody thing has snapped off. So, so when there's a will, there's a way, and I'll try to try to pick the bloody thing up as well. So what we'll do? Let's get my tummy out. There, it's in. Uh, I'll just... And there you have it, guys. The cockpit is complete, and that will do for this uh, part of the build. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, but um, I just wanted to say this has been. Um, I'll try something new, new out in this video over the air, over the airbrush and pretty much uh, succeeded with it so um i think i'm going to use 
this is my go-to colour for the for interior green. Uh, I've got another two bottles of this, so <laughs> uh, for some unknown reason. Um, so I'm going to use that for the interior green. Um, that's. Um, just want to say uh, that this is actually going to be the last plane I'm going to build for a while because I, I want to uh, start on um, making the Millennium Falcon and the um, uh, and HMS Belfast as well. So, um, uh, but uh, anyway, but I'm going to complete this build first, and we'll uh, then decide whether to uh, carry on. Uh, then decide whether to do the Millennium Falcon from Revel or HMS Belfast from Airfix. Um, but in the meantime, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you for part two of the Bolton Paul Defiant build. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.